right, what's going on guys? Aaron Harrison here, Mr. Motivation. And here's a day in the life of Aaron. Last night, I could have been better. I could have been so much better. I missed a lesson last night that I have to share with you guys because it's so important that we share these experiences while they're still present. Okay, it's, it's a wound that, you know, even today I feel it, but I wanted to share this with you guys because honestly it was, it was a moment of truth. And so last night we went out for dinner and my thought is Leslie has homework, right? We're on a tight schedule. Caleb has a game first thing in the morning. So let me get a reservation. Let me go ahead and set it. Boom, seven o'clock. We was, we was good to go. So we go to the, we go to the restaurant and it was packed. I mean, there was people outside the door. And I'm like, man, I'm like seven o'clock reservation. I'm like, man, I hope, hope, uh, hope all these people got reservations. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. Even Leslie said, it. Leslie was like, you sure you got a reservation? I was like, yeah, seven o'clock. So we walk in and it was like seven o'clock on the dot and there was no table even ready, not even close to ready. And so there was a family to my left, family to my right. And both of them had been there well before I was. But they didn't have a reservation. They asked me if I had a reservation. I said, yeah, I had for something, one for seven. And both of them had been there 25, 35 minutes. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, you know, I, I mean, I'm focused on my family. We got to get this food in seven o'clock, get home, you know, bathe, get these kids to bed, get ready. And then boom, you know, let's just got to do homework. So I'm just tunnel vision. So we go get sat and a family behind us, the one that was there for about 35 minutes kind of cut in front of me. And I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? I kind of like felt like, you know, whoa, what's going on? And they're like, we had a reservation for 716. And I'm like, okay. And the waitress looked at me and she goes, what time is your reservation? And I showed her on my phone. I said, seven o'clock. And she was like, okay. She's like, you guys can see. So, okay, we'll seat you guys later. They're like, no, no, no. We have a reservation for 716. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I looked at him and I said, show me your reservation, right? Show her your reservation. Because I think there was some, you know, some, there was a, there was a, there was a, a, a communication problem, right? But again, I was tunnel vision. Remind you, I could have been better. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, so everything kind of got, you know, I don't know. It's uncomfortable. And um, we end up sitting down and it just wasn't, wasn't a good vibe. Right. And one of the fam the family that sat right after us, right. They left and she looked at me and she goes, thanks for ruining our night. I'm like, man, what? And so I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, what? <laughs> right. I mean, think about this. I could have been better. So I'm thinking there and I'm like, I don't understand. And so my family was like, we got to get out of here. We don't feel good. Like, this is, this is, this is, this is just bad juju. And I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, guys. But, but, but I could have been better. We get in the car, and it was just like this weird feel. We still had to get our groceries, right? Our groceries were supposed to be delivered at 7. You know, I had to pick them up at 7 at ShopRite. So it was like, everything was on a time schedule. Like, I wasn't, I could have been better. So I'm driving, and I'm just thinking in my head. I'm like, my gosh, we grab the groceries. I get home, and I sit down on the stairs. And I'm like, man. Lord, what did I miss? What did I miss? And I'm praying and I'm praying. I said, oh my goodness. I could have been so much better. Knowing that those two, two, two families were there before me and I had, you knowing that, knowing I had a reservation at seven, they'd been there, you know, half hour before me. They sat right after me. I could have made their night instead of making it not their night. Because I could have said, excuse me, would you like my table? I'll take the next one. Could have done that. And that would have been completely amazing, right? We're not perfect. And I could have been better. And so I called the family huddle. I said, guys, I need to talk to you guys for a minute. And they're kind of looking at me like, you know, daddy, that was really not like you. And I was like, man, I tell you guys, I, you know, I felt, man, remorse at its, at its full. And I just told everybody, I said, you know, there's going to be times in life where you're going to be tested. And depending on your level of strength at the moment, you can miss an opportunity. And it's not that you did something wrong, but you could have done something so right. Right. And, um, I felt like I was, you know, I felt like I was being taken advantage of, right. Because someone was trying to, you know, to say that they, they, they needed that table before me. And I, and I wasn't, I wasn't there. I wasn't present. I said, oh my gosh. So I felt terrible, but I, it was, it was a great moment to teach my family and hear a video for you guys. And so then 
you know, the whole night I'm thinking, you know, the, the story of Job, right? And, and how, you know, the enemy asked, um, was talking to God and, and God said, you know, have you considered my son Job? And the, the enemy said, I have, and he's, he's unbreakable. <laughs> no matter what, you can take his, take his family away. You can destroy his crops. You can, you can do all these things and he will, he, he, he will, he will never, um, he, he will never be grateful to God. He would, he will always serve me, you know, and, 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 and although he was tested and so it just brought me back. So anyways, the, 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 the caveat of the, all, the, the situation, right. is today, right. My wife's car on Friday, brand new car. Okay. Brand new Honda Tucson, Tucson, um, just basically started having some edging issues. And so, you know, they, the dealership picked it up, they took it, you know, and they're supposed to have us a loaner, but they haven't yet. And I'm sitting there freaking out and I'm thinking, okay, Lord, all right, we're just going to, just going to get a rent a car. We'll figure it out. It'll all work out. And so Leslie says, no, I'm going to call the dealership. You know, I'm going to see what's going on. And she has such a great way of handling things, right? I mean, she's a behaviorist, right? She, you know, she practices what she preaches. And so, um, I could see it in her eyes and she's talking and she's doing her thing. And, um, Leslie had said something like, I don't understand with all the warranties and everything. Like, why am I inconvenienced? Cause the car's not working. It's a brand new car. Like we just are, we're asking for a loaner cause we can't live on one car. You know what I mean? Like we really can't indefinitely cause they haven't really even looked at the car yet and it's undrivable, right? The engine's doing some weird stuff. And so, you know, the guy was like, you know, all upset, whatever. He must've been having a bad day. And he hung up on my wife, <laughs> he hung up on her. <laughs> and, uh, I know Leslie, Leslie was hot. So she was just like, mm. And so I'm thinking, I'm like, uh-oh. But you know what? She let it go, right? To the point of fighting with this guy and all this stuff. So she just went, okay, I'm going to call customer service, and I'm going to ask what, 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 what else can be done, right? And she, she kept working and doing her thing. And although she was tested, guess what happened? By 4 o'clock this afternoon, Hyundai called her up and said, we got an Uber coming to pick you up, and, uh, you know, we got a loaner for you, no problem. And... Although Leslie had made a complaint about the guy that was in customer service, he apologized to her and told her, hey, listen, you know, I, I'm having a really bad week and, you know, it's just, it's just the wrong time. And, uh, and Leslie said, you know, you don't hang up on the Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, oh, you're right. And, uh, and, and it all worked out. And so Leslie called back customer service and said that, you know, this guy made it right. The point of the story is, is that although I got tested last night and failed, Leslie got tested and passed. And it's such an, an invaluable lesson, okay? And that's why I had to come on here, guys, and share this with you because there's so many times um, that there's opportunity to be a lesson and to learn all day, every day. It could be on a Saturday in the afternoon. It could be on a Friday night. Like, there's all kinds of things that, um, you know, play a part in when we get tested and how we get tested. And so I wanted to share this a day in the life of Mr. Motivation because I'm not perfect, but I'm authentic. I'm real. And if I'm being held accountable, I'm being held accountable. And then I share it to leave breadcrumbs as I think we're all here for. And so forgive those who trespass against us. I love you guys. Continue to be awesome. We'll see you on Monday Motivation. First thing, 7 a.m. on LinkedIn Audio. I love y'all. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday night. God bless y'all. Peace.